Okay, so right now, what I want to do is look on some painting mode. Let's go right here. We'll bring a little bit closer. You know, just um, maybe right around this mountain. So, for example, if I want to paint this area, let me go ahead and copy. Um, I want to go ahead, open, start painting. Currently, I don't have any shaders. So, if I have it, I can select, but I'll go create one. When I open, you'll notice I have it my brush tools. So right now, the brush size, it says 1000, so a kilometer. I want to change. So if I go to maybe 50 meters, you can see how it's small become. Let's go set 100 meters. And you can see I have my um, angles display, kind of nice point, and my brush. I can also use instead meters, just a relative brush size. But I think that meters will work just fine for this. Also, we have it set flow and the colors. Let me go and change the colors example, something to more maybe grassy green. We also rename this share to the grass. Kind of easy find. The other options, we also have the transforms, but we won't use at this moment. So the brush, all what you need to do right now is start brushing. But before I do this, I want to actually pause. The reason is why, so when I start moving a little bit, I don't want re-render always, so I want just work this way. So I'm going and notice right here, I'm just start painting. So you can take the brush and you can just kind of, you know, painting in the areas where you want to apply this. You can change um, flow, maybe even bigger so it's faster, or reduce flow, maybe pop up to 200 and just slightly painting this area. Right here on the back, you notice it does not render, so we can enable unpause, so it will re-render again. Okay, pause again, I don't want fast, I can right here, we'll go back, paint maybe a little bit more. It just as an example, you can see. Again, right here, because it's not rendered, so we can re-render, let it fill up with us. Pause again, and if you want it, and just, if you don't want it, you can always unpause. In this case, when you rotate, it will automatically start kind of creating, oops, sorry, let me unpause, and you can start painting without waiting too much. So it's depend on the performance and what you want, how you want to preview. Okay, so let's say this, I'm done painting at this moment. I'm closing, notice right here, I have my shader is created right here, grass but it's floating. So next I'm going, and even I'm going to stop my painting. Okay, we'll go to render. And you see its shader does not apply because it's unlinked, it's floating in limbo all alone. To connect, we actually need it to go in our network and connect it. Um, we can add by going into terrains shaders and we can add some other ways, or we can just go and connect. If we connect above, it will be below. So we need connect from here between our planets. So I'm going to connect this area, and I'm just going to connect right here. So notice right now, because we connected, it's display in the shaders in right position. So if we move up, it will jump right here. It's why I don't want it. I want to move down. Remember, this is top. And now we have our painting applied. And a nice thing, because it's grass here, we can still have it all these brushes as we applied. However, it does not have some of the altitude and other effect. So in some cases, you want to create um, a layer, just like, for example, surface shader, create maybe transparency applied to this layer work with altitude and after take a grass and apply it to this if you want to work with altitude but overall right here you can see we applied let's put it inside the shader area we have it ours and you know what let me do it this way so i'm going to add surface layer okay we can take um actually let's do remove apply color so it's kind of um all this. So then we can take and apply 
reach out to this. So right here, input mode mask node. So for example, if we're going, and again, if you don't like, or if you don't know, you can always add. And for example, you can see, okay, let me go ahead and bring this closer. So we have our surface. Actually, you know what, let me do. So we have our surface layer right here. We can go to create child to this. And you can notice right here is our child. So if you want this grass apply as a child, we can take just over on this grass. And we'll just take apply right here. So you can see, even you don't know how the position post, you always can go inside the network. So now our grass apply to the surface. So I can go inside the surface, go to the, for example, slope and work this way and apply my paint. You can see layer to the specific slope that As my surface so I still have it painting but I still now manipulating and adjusting so just showing you how you can work with a node and painting but overall right here with our painting tool that we created you can easy open brush painting in some specific areas and when you're done with this painting you just can go inside and working directly or by using as a child work with the surfaces and other areas Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.